What's going on guys? Chad here with Greenlight Shooting and welcome to another review. So today we're talking about yet another Olight flashlight. Now, uh, I, I said this on an Instagram post recently, on an Instagram story. I'm slowly but surely becoming somewhat of an Olight fanboy, I have to admit. I find myself reaching for the Olights over all my other flashlights pretty much every single time and they've sort of taken over my, uh, my flashlight inventory on a daily basis. So uh, I was really stoked when they said they wanted to send out one of their M2R weapon kits. Now the difference between that is, you know, the M2R uh, is I believe kind of just like their M2T warrior light, but it's re rechargeable. Uh, with the weapon kit, it does come with a setup to throw it like on a long gun. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Uh, but to give you a little bit of an overview of the light itself, I use the M2T all the time. I, it's probably my favorite actual handheld light that I have. Uh, it's incredibly bright, it's incredibly intuitive, and uh, it's just a good size. It's a good weight, everything, I like it. So I'm stoked on the light itself. To give you an idea of kind of how it works, first of all, it's a uh, turbo mode will output up to 1500 lumens. Uh, and there are a couple different brightness settings ranging from like 700 at high down to like, I don't know, 60? I mean, it might say right here actually. Uh, 700, then 250, then 60, then 15, and then one lumen for the moonlight setting. Runtime, we're looking at about two hours all the way up to 25 days, depending on uh, you know what setting you have it on. Uh, but as I mentioned, it is rechargeable and you just need one of Olight's uh, little click on chargers here. So this little magnetic piece snaps onto the back and then it's just got your standard USB set up here for charging. So. I really like that. Uh, I know that some people kind of complain that it's a proprietary uh, charging system. It is what it is. I, I mean, I'm in the Olight ecosystem now, I have to say, so I've got a bunch of these around the house. I like the fact that it's USB and I can just always keep them charged up. So not an issue for me, uh, but yeah. So 1500 lumens on this bad boy. Uh, there is a, a big button on the back here and then there is a smaller button up here near the front uh, to function like a normal flashlight. You can just push this and it will turn on. Uh, if you hold this while it's on, it will cycle through the different brightness modes. Uh, and then when you let go, it'll remember which mode you're on. So you tap it, turn it off, tap it, and it comes back on at that brightness setting. Now the back button, uh, there are a couple different things. First off, if you just momentary press it in, it will go to turbo mode, which is pretty bright. Uh, and then if you push it all the way in, it does strobe. So if I push this deep press, strobe. Um, now, I, that's because I have it on the tactical setting. There is a default setting where that just goes to uh, the turbo mode, the really bright mode, just on all the way. To cycle that, all you do is deep press this, and then you're just pushing the side button. So now, when I deep press it, it's just gonna go to turbo mode all the way on, deep press off. Uh, but because you know we're in the tactical game, we wanna make sure we have strobe readily available. I'm gonna deep press this again, push that side mo mode, uh, so that way the side button, so that way when I deep press this back button, I've got strobe ready to roll. Now, that's the light itself. Uh, specs wise, we're looking at 4.9 feet of drops, uh, IPX8 waterproof about six ounces, including the battery, about four ounces without the battery, um, five inches maybe. Does it say how long this, how big this thing is? Look at that, 5.1 inches. That was a really good guess. Who says guys don't know their five to six inch measurements? <laughs> Okay, uh, now let's throw this thing on a long gun, show you how that works. Um, I do have my AR right here. Now, uh, it does come with this little uh, offset rail mount. So we'll set this down here. We'll go to Kyle's angle. Um, this rail mount will just, by the way, let's actually take the tail cap off first. It comes with a pressure switch and a, uh, and a tail cap here. So all I'm gonna do is screw this tail cap off, screw the pressure switch version on, and now I have a pressure switch here which will turn this thing on and off. Um, okay, so throw it in the offset mount, tighten this down, uh, it's just like a, like a flat blade, like a flathead screwdriver if you wanna tighten that down more, uh, but for the sake of this video, I'll just go hand tight. And then this pressure switch here, uh, you can mount this wherever. I'd probably throw in like a forward grip or something right here. It does come with some adhesives that you can throw this thing on. Look at how sweaty my hands are, guys. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> no. For now, we'll take this off of the gun and take this tail cap back off. Throw this one on. This is the battery, by the way. It's just an Olight 18650 rechargeable. But yeah, so if you are looking for a super reliable, super bright uh, light that not only works for kind of just your, your average handheld flashlight, but also being able to throw it on and off of your uh, long gun, you've got instant access to strobe. Um, I think this is a fantastic option. I really like the build quality of Olights. As I mentioned, I, they have won me over. I think that they're all around really, really good lights and they're what I'm reaching for in my cabinet every single day. So uh, yeah, that is, that is my review on the Olight M2R Warrior. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. Uh, the link to these guys is down in the description below. I didn't mention price. This, the light itself is going for $99. Uh, the weapon kit, which comes with that offset weapon mount as well as a pressure switch, you can get all those together for $120. Uh, those links will be down in the video description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please hit that thumbs up button and we'll see you next time on Greenlight Shooting.